ending with a right and thinking disappointment with the result, but pleased with the performance tonight? Yeah, naturally. I think that the disappointment in the changing room afterwards, I think it sort of lends us to thinking of, of how we played tonight on a performance level, you know, and, and that disappointment really shows how well we played. We, um, the level of composure and, and, and quality that we played with tonight, I was very proud of the team. And, uh, and we caused them lots of problems. Individually, of course, they're, they're world class. And you can see that at times. Uh, we're disappointed with the goals. You can see that two uh, goals that, you know, you get punished at this level in particular. But, but overall, we look like a proper team. And we look like a team that's developing at the level. And, uh, and OK, we're disappointed to, to have lost, but, uh, but so many positives from the game. You bemoaned the fact that you perhaps didn't do the basics right in Munich. I suppose extra disappointment tonight because, especially that first goal, that was just a long punt really, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got to deal with it. We've got to deal with it as simple as that. You know, we've got good pressure on the goalkeeper. You know, positioning is good, you know, on the defensive line. So we've got to defend it, we've got to head it. Um, so um, it's as simple as that. You talk about pride, um, a few individual players in particular tonight, McGregor, Forrest, um, very, very good games. Yeah, I thought the, as a team we showed a real high level of tactical idea and, and technique to play. Um, Callum's one that can keep the ball. You know, people wonder why he, maybe he played in front of others, or what, but he's a player that looks after the ball. And at the very highest level, you see them tonight, you know, we still have a bit of work to do on that front, where we can give it away at times a little bit loosely. But the likes of Callum, he, he's exceptional. I think the, 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 the goal, you know, it was a wonderful demonstration of two two Scottish players showing a great bit of skill. You know, James coming inside and how he's lifted that over. That was a, a European player or someone from them. Everyone would have been raving about it. An incredible piece of skill to make the pass. And then Callum does what he does. He breaks into the box and, and he can finish. Came turning up against Arjun Robin, I thought was outstanding again. Um, Brown in midfield, controlling and... I thought Musha was very good up front for us to give us that platform. But across the team, I was, I was really, really pleased with how they, the coordination of the team and, and how they worked the ball and played with that composure at this level. And uh, it's not a step for us in terms of really being a competitive side but playing proper football at this level. You said yesterday you feel that a big result could be coming for Celtic in the Champions League. What does that performance tonight do for that confidence and belief? Well, it's a huge step for their confidence. Um, and I think that, you know, apart from the two goals that we conceded, we, you know, defensively we were very, very good. We played our shape very well, blocked spaces, pressed the game well at the right moments, and uh, and then when we had the ball, we, you know, we, we found the gaps and um, and played very, very well. So it gives you confidence. Now what we've got to do is just go on uh, and finish off all these next two games. PSG will be a, a big test for us again, but when we're back here in the final group game. We want to achieve what we set out to achieve, which is to have European football after Christmas. And if we can do that, then it's a, uh, it's a great marker and, and a great measure of how the, the players are progressing. Brendan, do you think if you can get that, you can actually go on an extended run in the Europa League if you can get there, given on what you've seen tonight, the evidence tonight? Listen, the, the idea is to get there. That that's first and foremost. There's some, still some crack teams that will be involved after Christmas in that competition as well. So. Um, but for us, we want to get there, and, uh, and we want to get there playing a level of game and a level of football that can allow you to uh, to go as far as you possibly can. And I think tonight we showed in that performance that uh, we uh, we certainly improve in our level at this at, uh, at this the very highest level. Okay, Brendan, you mentioned Tierney. I wondered if you could elaborate a bit coming up against a player who's played over 100 Champions League games and also with the contract news, um, you know, elaborate a little bit on his importance to the club. He's a really special player. He, um, you know, for 20 years of age, to play with that composure. But he is, first and foremost, he's a defender. You know, I've been, I've worked with what I would consider to be the, the two best left-backs in, uh, in Britain in terms of Danny Rose. Uh, Danny is a young player at Watford. And Ryan Bertrand being the other one that I worked with at Chelsea, and uh, 
and Kieran's right up there with those boys. You know, he's still very young, and those guys are now into their sort of latter 20s. Still got bits of improvement to make, but his quality, his will, his determination, um, and his focus for young players is outstanding. And he loves playing at Celtic. You know, coming to here at nights like this here, you can see why he, he wanted to sign here. Um, a real special talent, but a player that's very focused on improving. Ewan? Brendan, Craig in particular seemed adamant there was a handball at the, at the first goal. Do you think he had a case? Do you, do you agree with him there? I, I haven't seen it, Ewan, to be honest. You know, I'm more disappointed we didn't deal with the header. Craig was in a good start position, that at least gives him a chance. You know, from when the keeper kicks it, you want your goalkeeper high. You know, your defence isn't a good line. So head it. Um, it obviously comes through and uh, I haven't seen it, so I wouldn't be sure if he handballed it or not. So, Brendan, you were involved in a heated conversation with Iron Robin during a break in play. Was there anything, you know, you hugged each other, anything in particular? Old memories? <laughs> no, no, I was... Yeah, I hadn't seen him for for obviously a long time and uh, I seen him briefly after the game so I was a good guy, we were very close when we worked together at Chelsea and um, he's getting a bit older now but he's still uh, he's still an outstanding player and top class player and um, yeah but, but nothing more than that.